Welcome back to Arcanum. Let's talk to this dwarf. What? You're bothering me. You're voiced. Aha. We haven't even met, sir. What could be the problem? You've gone and put yourself on my bad side. I think it would be in your best interest to leave this dwarf alone. Um... I'm sorry, sir, but if you, are you very sure that opinion is correct? Hmm. I do see your point, stranger. I was quite mistaken about you. It's obvious to me now. Please, forgive me at first. That's more like it. Might I ask your name? Who might you be to ask a dwarf his name? Bloody ignorant outlander, I'd say. As if a dwarf would give his name. Forgive me, I, was not, I wasn't aware it was such a breach in etiquette. Your opinion has been noted, Virgil. I mean, look at him. Putting on airs like he's some sort of native dwarf. I'd be surprised if he's ever even been out of the city in his entire life. You can always smell a city dwarf a mile away. <laughs> Probably got a manicure. <laughs> he looks a bit scraggly, too. Probably out past his bedtime. Enough, Virgil. Now, what seems to be the problem, sir? I was saying that it was bloody rude of you to be asking me, a dwarf, for his name. It's not something to be thrown out and away like the day's rubbish. Um, forgive me, I wasn't aware it was such a breach in etiquette. Let's see if this loops. Hmm. I suppose you're none to blame, stranger. Perhaps I am a little quick tempered myself. Please forgive my harsh words. You may call me Magnus. A pleasure, sir. What were you saying about a dwarf's name? Why am I not giving mine? Uh, I guess probably because they... Hmm. Well, dwarves are an ancient race, and our traditions run deep. A dwarf's true name, his family name, is a sacred thing. A thing of mystery and power. Magnus is my common name. If I knew you well, I'd also tell you my family name. But Magnus will do for now. And why the uproar, man? Why wouldn't you just, like... Just tell me your common name and not make a big deal around the rest. Why are you so protective of your family name? Dwarven names are symbolic. A reflection of our history, who we are. A dwarf who gives just anyone his name has no respect for that history. I see. Thank you for the lesson, Magnus. It's nice to meet an outlander who tries to understand our ways. Well met, my friend. Now, how can I help you? Might I ask you a few questions? What is it that you need to know? Do you know what establishment this is? Yes, I do. And I curse the day I ran across the devils who own it. Ungodly bunch they are. I can only guess what goes on behind those doors. That building is the headquarters for the infamous P. Skylar and Sons. I guess I gotta say Skylar, because he's not the only one who says it. I... I... Strongly disagree about that being the pronunciation of that spelling, but here we are. Um, what can you divulge about P. Schuyler and Sons? What can I divulge, you ask? Where would you like me to begin? P. Schuyler and Sons is the oldest business in Tarant, a trader in jewelry and the occasional rare or sought-after trinket or bauble. Their business reputation is untarnished, second to none. And yet, there's something strange about them. Strange? Strange doesn't begin to describe what they are. Do you know that no one has seen the supposed owner, Polonius Schuyler, or his sons in more than 15 years? But even then, the gentleman who saw them, a trader in gems from Ireland, died a week later from what they could only describe as consumption. Isn't cons I, I forget. Consumption is an old-timey term for... Ooh, there was some slowdown there. That was weird. I think consumption... Is consumption gout? I think it's gout. Or may maybe not? Hold on. Gotta Google. Uh, if my phone will wake up... 
Google. Um, consumption. Wasting disease. Oh, TB. It's tuberculosis. All right. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty quick for TB to kill someone. What else is said about them? I like how the music just randomly kicked back in. That's kind of funny. Have you heard about the ILS-5? Eight years ago, there were five ruby pendants sold at auction through P. Schuyler and Sons. All the ladies who wore them were murdered. Their eyes plucked from their heads. Why would P. Schuyler and Sons plot to kill their customers? I understand, Magnus. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same, my friend. You seem awfully curious about peace, Skylar and Sons. What brings you here? I'm investigating a ring. It appears they were the sellers. Interesting. I too am investigating one of their products. I saw it for sale in a pawn shop down the merchant's quarter, and it had their imprint. Would you like to see it? Yes, very much so. The dwarf shows you a rather plain-looking bronze, bla bronze bracelet with some faded scratchings barely visible along its outer surface. On the inside, you see the imprint of P. Schuyler and Sons. <clears throat> what are these carvings? I can't quite make it out. What do you think is significant about this bracelet? Do you see these dwarven gauntlets I wear? They were given to me by my grandfather, who in turn received them from his. Do you see the symbol carved on them? It's the same as the symbol carved on the bracelet. These gauntlets are the only link I possess to my ancestors. My clan, lost to my family since before any of us can remember. Have you spoken with P. Skyler and... S that's a stupid question. Nobody's seen them. But I don't like the other one either, because that's interrogating him about his clan. Who was your clan? Why was your family separated from them? Never ask a dwarf yeah. the name of his clan. I'd sooner cut my beard than tell you the sacred name of my people. Such an action might be considered blasphemy. And as for my family, that's none of your concern. We were lost to them, and I've spent the last 200 years looking for where they might have gone. Very sorry. I say, have you spent spoken to the, the Skylers about this? That, my friend, is the point of this whole story. I've tried on multiple occasions to speak with the Skylers concerning this priest and where they got it. But I've been stonewalled by their employees from the very beginning. They're hiding something. I know it. What could they possibly be trying to conceal? The sources behind their inventory. The reasons for their reclusiveness. Who knows? But I do know that I am going to find out where they got this bracelet, regardless of what is necessary to do so. A pawn shop that's also grave robbing? That would not be that surprising. Um, I see. Well, perhaps we could work together. I don't know if that's because of my stats that he won't join me, or if he literally just doesn't want to join now. A dwarf always chooses his companions wisely. But I just don't know about you. I do wish you luck in your search, though. If I do find anything else, I'll share it with you. I'd appreciate any information you might uncover. Goodbye. Well, that was rather illuminating. 
And again, despite the fact that we, you know, just stood here and listened to him for a bit, I have to give the game credit for some admirable voice acting and pretty decent writing. Uh, I wasn't thrilled about some of the um, responses I was given to to pick from, but hey, you know, that comes with any RPG dialogue tree. Anyway, pretty interesting. Um, the door is unlocked, so next time on Arcanum, we're going to check inside and talk to the employees.